Hey, what's up? I have a 2003 Chevy Silverado LT with the Bose audio system or factory Bose um, premium sound. And what I'm going to show you how to do is hook up an aftermarket sub and amplifier and how to wire that. And this will work for any Chevy, GMC, um, pickup truck or SUV um, that has the Bose audio system in it um, with a stock subwoofer that's going to be right up here in front in the center console. It's only about like a five and a half or six inch uh, sub factory and there's nothing you can really do with it to change it or make it any better um so i could go into that for quite a while but just trust me i've looked into it you're wasting your time um trying to do anything with that so what uh, i'm going to show you how to do is how to wire in a high low line converter so that you can get rca jacks to uh, wire up your amp and we're going to do that by tapping in to the factory amp that uh, powers the sub so what you're going to want to do first is take off these four bolts and then there's some bolts down there on the bottom then this is going to lift out and uh, someone had asked me about uh, how to wire this so I just made a real quick video and I just kind of wired up my system real half ass I didn't have much time so that's why I'm making this video to show you guys you know basically how to really do it and how it looks all finished off because I was thinking about it and I'm like man if some idiot I saw a video of um, had his shit wired up the way that I did I'm like there's no way in hell I would listen to him so anyway, I got my high-low converter right here. And what I'm gonna do is run wires back to my amp and subwoofer because before I had this underneath here and it was just way too cramped. And here's the cover for it. And all the stuff that I'm gonna use is linked up in the description below. So, um, if you want to do a, do what I'm doing, you can get any of the stuff that I'm using off of uh, Amazon. Like I said, it's linked up in the description below. So anyway, what we're going to want to do is wire in this high-low output converter. And what we're going to do to do that is I was just getting everything all cleaned up here, is this plug right down here it's the plug on the far right that goes into that factory amp the white one not the blue one the white one you're gonna wanna take that off and then I'm gonna show you what wires are what these two right here are a power and a ground and then get my cheat sheet here. The rest of them go to the factory sub and they are as follows. So the left uh, negative for the OEM Bose sub is light green slash black. The positive for the left sub is dark blue slash white. So we'll find those, light, green, and black. So the light green and black is going to be this one right there. And the dark blue and white is going to be this one right here. And the right sub positive is dark green and the negative is light blue slash black so we'll find dark green 
which is going to be this one right here. And then we'll find light blue slash black is actually this one right here. So I actually told you wrong. This is actually going to be the left sub negative green slash black. It's going to be this one. So I actually got the negatives mixed up when I told you in this video. I'm sorry I misspoke. This is the right negative. This is the left negative that goes to the factory bow sub. All right, I'm going to get to wiring this up, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. Hey, please do take the chance to subscribe, comment. If you don't think I know what I'm talking about, tell me in the comment section below, because, you know, I, I love feedback, positive or negative, as long as you're keeping it real, that's what's up, you know? So I'm never going to fault you for having an opinion. So definitely, you know, you might be able to show me something, help me out because uh, nobody's perfect. So I hope this video helps you guys out and stay tuned because I'm about to get this shit hooked up and show you what it looks like finished product. Alrighty, so I got it all hooked up pretty much. And this is what it looks like. I cut some of the wires a little bit short initially because I didn't think that I was going to still leave the factory sub hooked up. But I decided to go ahead and try it with uh, having the factory sub uh, hooked up. So uh, I think that's going to work for me. Some people like to unhook it. But this is what I'm going to do. Um, another thing I did is the cup holder just pulls out. It just sits in there. Like that. And just snaps down in there. You just pull that out. And then this, the dash, just pops off with the tabs. You just pull, you don't have to take the whole thing off, just right there. And then pull on this. And this is where I put my uh, amp, uh, you know, amount that if I want to turn up my sub at certain times or turn it down or turn it off, this is my uh, adjustment to do that. And that's a really cool thing about this high-low converter that I have linked up below is that it allows you to uh, to have this uh, sub or amp adjustment level that comes with the high-low converter which hardly any of them I don't know of another one that does so normally you have to buy that extra or a lot of times really expensive amps will have them and even then usually you still have to buy it extra and it's at least about 20 bucks alrighty so as you can see I got this this all wired back up so then we'll plug Hang on a second. Can't do this one-handed. Alrighty, now as you can see, I got that all plugged in. Was kind of a tight fit. If I was gonna do it again, I would have cut the wires a little bit differently. And what I would have done is I would have cut it closer to the harness up here this way and gave me more play off the back of the plug. The reason I did that is because the first time that I did it, I thought, that uh, oh I should also mention this to you if you just want to disconnect the factory sub and just have your new aftermarket sub that you put in and only use that some people say that is better to unhook it what you'll do is you'll just tap into just the plug so right here where the harness the wires come out of the harness those are from the sub and those don't matter. The only two you have to have is that orange and black wire. And the orange and black wire are power wires and that's one of the things that powers the amp or turns it on or whatever. So you need those and then you need this clear one which is probably like a ground or something. 
So you have to have those three, but then the rest of them, the two sets that are braided together, right there and right there, with the green and blue wire wires for your positive and negative for the right and left side of your sub, those just have to be hooked up coming out of the amp. So you don't have to have it hooked up with the harness. If you want to disconnect it, just cut it at the harness and then it won't power your factory sub and it won't turn it on. Alrighty, I got everything hooked up. I still just got to zip tie some stuff and tidy some stuff up. I'm going to do that. But uh, while everything's loose and I can show it to you, I figured I would. It's much easier to put this high-low uh, line converter, in my opinion, in the back. So then if you have to adjust these little knobs, it's right next to uh, your amp adjustments. The first time I put it underneath the center console, it was just way too cramped, not enough room, hard to work on, hard to get to. Huge pain in the ass. So I just ran the wires, um, you know, rather than just running uh, my RCAs. Uh, and then also, if you put it anywhere else, I mean, I think the best spot for it is, is back here. So I'm going to get all this stuff uh, zip tied up and I'll tidy it up and then I'll show you guys what it looks like too. Um, got my amp and stuff all hooked up. Got it grounded right there. Um, and on this high-low converter that's linked up below, cool thing about it is, is that it has a built-in amp turn-on switch. So it automatically knows when to turn on your amp whenever it's the head unit puts, starts putting sound through this thing, then it'll automatically turn it on. So you don't have to, you know, run another wire all the way up front. That's a really nice feature of this one. So, I also got to screw this down. Basically, what I got right here is a sub box. It's not ported. Um, it, it'll be linked up in the description, too. Uh, they make this where you can put a 10-inch sub in it. But uh, I have an 8-inch sub. I got. They make a 10-inch or an 8-inch sub box that's basically the same. And I am running a J see if not much room well anyway i'm running a jlw3 uh eight inch subwoofer and then this amp right here doesn't look like it's actually that good of uh brand or like it'd be cheap but this is actually an older amp and they actually still go for like 200 bucks i got it from a buddy of mine um, he just gave it to me and I could not believe that they were selling for like 200 bucks used So I guess this actually is a good brand. They're made in America. So I was pretty stoked about that And I'll let you guys hear it too, but uh, I'm gonna get this shit tidied up and then be back with you. Oh also uh, How I ran these wires was uh, I pulled This right here just out a little bit with my finger and then just push them, push them underneath there. And whenever I tidy this up, that'll go through there. And then this carpet right here just lifts up. If you can see that. And then I fed them through and just cut a little slit right there. If I was going to do it again, I would have uh, cut a slit uh, further, further back here rather than up there. But, uh, yeah, still, still, it'll still be fine. Uh, the only downside to this box, I will tell you, is, is that you cannot... Hang on a second, I'll show you. You cannot put the seat all the way, you know, down without taking out 
uh, the sub box. So that's pretty uh, unfortunate, but I mean, what are you gonna do? The seat uh, still goes down fine though. And it fits real, real nice underneath there. You know, I just wanted a little something, something, you know what I'm saying? A little bumpity bump, you know? Any old truck. I wasn't trying to do nothing crazy, you know? I still use this, you know, on trips and stuff. So I am wanting anything crazy where I got to modify a bunch of stuff. I just wanted, you know, just a little bit more bass. So that's what this system does for me, and it sounds great. And you'll hear it in just a little bit. <laughs> 